What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to the AirPods, I'm happy to let you know that four different types of AirPods have new firmware updates. And the first one is the AirPods 4, just the regular AirPods 4. And then the second one is the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation. And this one that you see here are the AirPods Pro 2 and also the AirPods Max got a new firmware update that you can update those airports too if you have them now for me here if you've been following my channel you probably know that i've been testing these airports in beta so i'll quickly show you the current build number that i'm on if i go into my airports and go all the way down you can see the version that i have at the time of recording is 7e80a and when it comes to beta testing if a build number or a beta update has an a at the end it usually depends or means that you know the beta testing is coming to an end and is depicting more of a stable build number or version so that's why maybe I have this a right there because the AirPods Pro 2 have a new version that you can update them to and the version that's available for them is 7e93 and that has actually been updated from the previous 7b21 now if you have the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation or just the regular airpods 4 the new build number that's available starting today is 7e93 for those devices finally if you have the airpods max with usb-c the over ear headphones you have a new firmware version that's available which is 7e99 if you have any of the four mentioned airpods versions and you want to know how you can update your airpods to the latest version i like that now apple tells us how you can update your airpods and you can basically update your airpods using your iphone your ipad your mac to do that and one of the first things that apple tells you to do in order to update your airpods firmware version is to make sure that the device you are using be it an iphone or a mac or an ipad is updated to the latest software version available for it so for the iphone at the time of recording this is ios 18.4 and you can see my device is up to date right there and then the second step that apple says to do is to make sure that your airports are connected via bluetooth to your iphone ipad or mac in this case you can see my iphone's bluetooth is actually turned on right there and it's working so the pop-up you saw when i close the lid and open it you know it just pops up like that so that's the second step and then the next step is to make sure that your iphone ipad or mac is connected to wi-fi and you can see for me my wi-fi connection is on even though it's not the strongest it still is like at 5g speeds which is pretty good the fourth step is to connect your charging case to power so i'll quickly drop this down i have a very long usb-c cable that's available right here and i'm just gonna make sure that this is connected to power and you can see when i do that the orange indicator status light comes on to depict that these are charging right now so that's the fourth step and then the fifth step is to put your airpods in their charging case and close the lid and keep the lid in the charging case closed and keep your airpods in bluetooth range of your iphone ipad or mac so uh you can see if i remove my pods basically what we are being told is if you have one pod then you want to go ahead and put the other one in or in this case if you have both pods out you want to actually go ahead and put both pods into your case just like this and once you've put them in close the lid and at the same time don't go too far from the device that you are using to update your airpods so if it's the ipad if it's a mac you want to be within bluetooth range of that device the next step is to actually wait for at least 30 minutes for the firmware to update for my testing depending on your wi-fi your network speeds and other factors it typically takes anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes but to be safe apple says wait 30 minutes the next step is to open the lid of the charging case to 
reconnect your AirPods to your iPhone, iPad or Mac and then check the firmware version again just to see if it's been updated. Now for me, you can see my AirPods are connected. If I go into the AirPods right here and then go to see the version that they are on right now, they are still on the beta version. but. You know, it's only been a couple minutes, but Apple says wait at least 30 minutes. And at the same time, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been testing in beta, like I mentioned. So if I want to switch off this beta updates for my AirPods, I can go into the developer beta mode. So just to show you where the developer mode is found, in under settings right there, if I go all the way down of my settings page just below the apps tab, I have the developer. If I click on the developer, I can go to where it says uh, beta testing versions for AirPods and then I can be able to switch off the beta updates so that I can be able to receive the updates that we have today. So you notice for AirPods testing, we have this section that says pre-release beta firmware and if I click there you can see I have enrolled my AirPods Pro 1 and these ones are the AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C so if I want to you know remove these and turn them off I can turn it off just like that and then it says you know my AirPods Pro will not install future pre-release beta firmware updates your AirPods will update to the latest public firmware when it becomes available and like I mentioned you saw the latest public firmware version for the AirPods Pro 2 7E93. So I'll turn this off right now and now we just have to give it some time to let it update to the latest firmware version. It's been a couple minutes. If I had to estimate, I would say 10 minutes when I checked and found that the firmware has now been updated on my AirPods Pro 2 and right here if I open these up and then bring my iPhone close just like this you can see it's connected if I go into the settings just like that and then go all the way down you can see the version has now been updated to the current current one which I mentioned being 7E93. If we click on it right there, you can see the version 7E93 and you can see the case version as well, 74.7.0. So now that we are current, that's how you basically update your AirPods to the latest firmware version. Or if you were testing it on the beta, just keep in mind once you remove the betas or the developer betas of the AirPods pre-release firmware updates. Once you switch that off, you'll still be able to get the latest current firmware version. Now, if you actually aren't able to update your AirPods, Apple recommends that if you do the steps that are highlighted and you still can't find the update, reset your AirPods and then try to update your firmware again. Now that we've updated our AirPods, what are actually some of the new features and changes or, or the new resolved issues that this update has to offer? For once, if you have the AirPods Pro 2, like these ones with uh, active noise cancellation, I'm happy to use Australia, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Colombia, and Malaysia with the latest iOS update and this firmware version 7E93 for the AirPods, now those users have the ability for hearing health feature that they can access in the AirPods. And in addition to that, they can use the AirPods Air as a hearing aid device. So for me, because I'm in Canada and Canada isn't yet supported, you can see if I, I'll just put my uh, do not disturb on just like this. But if I was to go into my AirPods Pro right there, you can see we have hearing protection. Now hearing protection is actually more restricted than hearing test or hearing health feature because hearing protection mainly is available in Canada and the United States. States, but hearing test feature and the hearing aid feature which Canada doesn't have that has now been added to more countries and region is available in the majority so if you're in those countries that I mentioned you'll be able to see just under hearing protection you'll be able to see hearing health test and 
you also be able to use your AirPods as a hearing aid. To demonstrate and show you what I was saying right here, you can see we have the hearing test feature and look at how many countries are actually available. And in addition to this, Apple has actually updated this list by including the countries that I mentioned. So just to show you two of the many that I highlighted, you can see Australia is right there. And then Brazil, probably one of my favorite football country, it's also right there. And then if you wanna go further you will also be able to see Colombia that has been added among the others that I mentioned so these countries once you update you have the hearing test feature and in addition to that since hearing aid is an extension of that feature you also be able to have the hearing aid feature for your airports in those countries as well and just in comparison look at how many countries have this hearing test feature there's so many countries listed right here as compared to the number of countries that have the hearing protection feature that we have in canada right there and the united states and then these many islands that you see right there and a couple of you know countries right there but comparison if you were to compare the hearing protection feature to the hearing test and hearing aid feature you know there's so many or other countries that need to adopt the hearing protection feature but canada hasn't yet adopted the hearing aid or hearing health feature which i want to try so bad part of the reason why it's not available is because it has to be federally or provincially approved by the health committee or something like that so for the AirPods Pro 2, that's basically the change that this new firmware version 7E93 has to offer for, and it's available both for AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C or Lightning. And also you can see for the AirPods 4, just the regular AirPods 4, and for the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation, we have 7E93. 7E93 says that this update or this version fixes some bugs and important improvements but at this point in time no one has reached out to me yet to let me know what those bugs and issues are and now for the airpods max like i mentioned they also got a firmware version to version 7e99 and these ones you can see are only supported for the airpods max with USB-C. if you have the lightning variation you won't be able to get this feature and the feature that has been enabled all thanks to this new firmware version for the airpods max is lossless audio and ultra low latency audio for the ultimate listening experience and even greater performance for music production content creation and gaming and if you're watching movies you have now lossless audio what this means is that if you have the USB-C airpods max you can now take advantage of the 24 bit 48 kilohertz lossless audio that they offer to listen to music the way that producers or artists intended for you to listen to with the greatest clarity and quality so basically that's it for me for now when it comes to the new firmware versions that have been released as part of the ios 18.4 and yes like i mentioned you will have to update your iphone your ipad or your mac to the latest versions that have been released alongside this in order to be able to see these new firmware versions and as i showed it's actually pretty easy to update your device and you can always go in and verify the firmware version if it's been updated or not and you know let me know if you have the airpods max and how the user experience is but other than that that's it for me for now if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace